Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Whitney and today I'm going to be showing y'all a detailed inventory of my foundations. I was going to include this in my part one uh, of my detailed inventory, but these foundations just needed a video of their own. It's too many to handle. I hope y'all enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already and let's just get into this. This is my foundations and my god, are you kidding me? Look at these foundations. Again, most of these foundations were gifted to me from Sephora. I'm going to identify those as I go through and I'm going to let you know which ones were gifted through gratis and which ones I purchased. Y'all know how long it takes to go through a foundation. What? What? I, um, I just, I, I don't even know. I don't even know, guys. So let's just jump right into it and see what I'm working with. This is the foundation that I'm currently using. It is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation Conceal Concealer Foundation, and it is in the shade Sand. Uh, as you can tell, I have used a ton of this up. It no longer squirts out of the top. I have to scoop it, so I'm anticipating that this is going to be gone this year, hopefully very soon, and I can start working on uh, a different foundation, but I want to get through this one. I do have a backup of this right here i did purchase both of these years ago this is the flawless finish foundation as well and also in the shade sand so once i finish that one i'm not going to be pulling for this one because i've had enough it is a nice foundation i would repurchase it it's like six bucks it works great it lasts on my skin i have no complaints but look at what i else i have i need to <laughs> move on so i do have a backup but i'm not going to use it right away this is the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation, and this is in the shade Cool Sand 2.25. This is a very liquidy foundation, and I do like it, but it's a little bit light coverage for me. I like something more full coverage. This was gratis to me from Sephora, and I like to use it as a mixing foundation. This is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation in the shade 28 Bisque Taupe. And this is too dark for me when I'm not self tanned. I love this foundation. It's thick. It's full full coverage. It's full of pigment. Um, a little bit goes a long way. I've had this bottle for a long time. I've used it a ton, but it's still um, it's about halfway full. I kind of shook it up so you can't tell but it's about halfway full. I do like to mix this foundation because it's a little too dark for me like I said on a normal basis. But this is probably one of the oldest um, foundations in my collection. And this was was this gratis let's see yep there's the g right there so this was gratis as well and i love this foundation this is the sephora collection what's it called 10 hour wear perfection foundation and this is in the shade claire light 10 now this is actually a little too light for me so i like to mix this with the mark jacobs foundation and those work perfect this is a mattifying foundation as well as the mark jacobs so they mix perfectly you can see i've gotten a very little bit of use out of this um this was gratis to me at sephora so i did not pay for it but i do like the finish of it and it's relatively inexpensive at sephora next i have the urban decay naked skin i don't even know if they make this anymore this one is in the shade medium where's the sticker there yeah. There we go. And I have, am I going to use this one? I don't think I've ever used this one. So this, I've heard that this has de decent medium coverage. I do want to use it probably, summer just passed, I didn't get a tan, but I'm going to start self tanning. So hopefully I can get some uh, use out of this. Let me know if they still make this. I don't know that they do, but I've heard like Coffee Break with Danny. Uh, talk about this foundation she loves it so I do want to start using it because I've heard it's a really great formula and this was gifted to me from Sephora this is the Revlon color stay whipped foundation and this is in the shade 200 sand beige I really love this formula I have used quite a bit of this there we go this is a very thick formula and um I used to, I've gone through like two or three tubs of this. I really like this formula, but it's so thick that it only works for me like in the winter. It's a little too thick for me to wear in the summertime. So maybe this winter I'll get this one used up. I did purchase this. Next I have the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. This is in the shade 210 Buff Neutral. 
Okay, that's not gonna focus. So 210 buff neutral. So I bought this uh, when Lancome, when I worked at Sephora and Lancome had a really good sale for the employees. And uh, the formula is supposed to be really, really good. I, so this is one that I need to get used out of. I have had this for a little bit. Uh, the color match is a little light for me. So again, might mix. I usually mix all my foundations. I'm very rarely wearing just one. So anyway, this one is another one in my collection. And I did purchase this one. I have the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. This is in the number 30, 6U01. I'm not sure if that's anything. I This is the old formula. They repackaged these. They reformulated them. So I've never actually used this. This was gifted to me from Sephora and gratis. And I've actually never even tried it. So I, I have oily skin. I believe this would work great on me. Um, but again, I just have so much to work through that this has never come up in the rotation. Another one that was gifted to me from Sephora that I have never used <laughs> is the NARS. This is the, what is it, Sheer Matte Foundation. And I've heard that that is um, definitely not the case. That the uh, Sheer Coverage is foundation is not actually sheer. It's actually pretty full coverage. So uh, this is in the shade Medium 2. It's not going to focus, but uh, I'm, you know, all of these I'm very excited to use, but they just take so much time to go through that I have not uh, tried this one out. So, and if y'all see, some of these have the word tester on it. Let me see if this will focus. There you go. Some of these say tester, um, all of the products, not just NARS, but um, when you work at Sephora, let me see if I can find the G for gratis. Okay, it's right there. It's very, if y'all can see it etched right there. So at Sephora, we get tons of testers. Sometimes we get gratis actually from the brand, but sometimes we have so many excess testers that they will give them out as gratis. So rest assured, I did not steal this. <laughs> it was gratis to me, um, but you will see products in my collection. I do have a tester sticker on them. It doesn't mean that they were ever used in store. They were just lots of extras that the, that the store gratis to us. So that's that. I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, and this is in the shade 2C0 Cool Vanilla. I have used this a handful of times. I did purchase this. I actually did a, I guess, a wear test or first impressions on my channel, so you can check that out. Um, I really like this foundation. It's the perfect color match for me. I really need to pull it out and use it more. Maybe after I'm done with that L foundation, I'll pull this one out because I really do enjoy it. I have the Dior Forever Skin Nope, that's not right. I have the Dior Skin Forever Foundation in 022. This was gifted to me through gratis from Sephora, and it's actually a mini size. So it has no cap on it. It's just as is. And you'll see that with a lot of the NARS when um, a lot of them didn't come with caps. Anyway, so when they were uh, gifted. So this is a mini size. It's only like a half ounce. I've actually gone through an entire one of these before. I like to use this as a mixer because it's a little bit more of a medium light medium coverage and i like something more full coverage so probably we'll do the same with this one it was good but for the price of dior i don't think i would purchase it this is tarte uh rainforest of the sea water foundation i love this foundation guys you can't tell but i've used quite a bit of it it's probably down to here i know that doesn't seem like a lot but in the mix of everything using that much of a foundation must mean that i like it so this is in the shade light medium neutral Oh, I got to get right up on the camera for it to focus. Okay, light, medium, neutral. So that is the trick. <laughs> um, I absolutely love this foundation. It is lightweight, full of pigment. I would buy this foundation over and over and over again. I recommend it thoroughly, whether you have dry skin, oily skin, normal skin. I love this foundation. I don't, ugh, I just don't have anything bad to say about it. It's really good. And this was gratis to me from Sephora. Next up is the Becca... Let's see, it's very shiny. The Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. And this is in the shade Light. There we go. Uh, I have think I've used this like once. It is very luminous, very liquidy. I do not like the dispenser. It is like a... I'm not going to pull it out all the way. It's like a pumper. Now what's crazy is that this one and the Tarte um, Rainforest of the Sea are the same type of pumper 
but I hate this one. I don't know what, <laughs> the tar one doesn't bother me. This one bothers me, I hate it. So sometimes I think that this is too luminous for my skin, but when I mix it with a matte foundation during winter, it works really well. So this is something that I can't wear on its own. It was gratis to me from Sephora, um, but I do like to mix it in the winter with a mattifying foundation. These two are actually the exact same foundation. These are the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in One. And they're both in the shade number four, Cream Whip. So both of these were gifted to me from Sephora and Gratis. I have used this one quite a bit. Um, it looks like I've used this one, but it's just been sitting. I have used this one quite a bit. I actually really like this foundation. It's a great color match for me, and it is a good, it is um, a nice full coverage. So. This is great. I don't know that I would purchase it, even though it is on the lower end of the Sephora uh, price tag, but I do enjoy wearing it. So who knows, maybe on when I'm done, I would repurchase it, but it's not something, Clinique is not a brand to me that like stands out. Is that the same for you guys? I, I like it, I like the product and I have other products that I like, but it just doesn't stand out to me as a brand. I have two of these CoverGirl Clean Matte in the shade 540. As you can tell, they were on sale. That's why I purchased them. That used to be my life. I used this one a couple of times. I've never used this one. Um, from what I remember, I did like it, but nothing stood out to me so great that I would, um, you know, run out and purchase it again. I do want to use these up and then that's it. Uh, they don't come with a pump, so that kind of sucks. But other than that, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. These are some little stick foundations that I got from Bobbi Brown. I've used this one a handful of times and I think this one yeah, is brand new. Um, these are both in the shade natural and I actually had three of them so I did use one of these up. They are a little dark for my light skin tone but when I'm a little bit more tan I can use them so hopefully I can run through these. You actually get quite a bit of product. I'm going to roll the one up that I haven't used yet just to show y'all like it's a mini but look at how much product you get it's it's a lot of product and for a stick foundation you don't use a ton of it so um yeah i have those two and hope to use them up and these i got as gratis from sephora okay i have two of the it cosmetic cc cream uh full coverage foundation blah 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 so what's crazy is that i this one i was gifted in gratis this one i bought why would I buy it when I had it free? I, who knows? Um, I don't even know what to tell you. They are both in medium. I have used this product before, but again, I have oily skin, so it doesn't work the greatest. I will use these um, maybe in the winter or as a mixer, but I don't think I would purchase the full size. I have this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in the shade 120. I have never used this. I bought it, I believe it, yep, on sale. I was a sucker. I am no longer a sucker. I don't buy things just because they are on sale, but I used to. So I've never used this. Um, it's in the shade 120. When I do finally get around to using it, I will let you guys know what I think. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This is a waterproof long wear liquid foundation in the shade 2.5. Um, this shade is actually a little dark for me because it does oxidize quite a bit. I have gone through an entire foundation of this, so this is my second one. I love the coverage. I love the full coverage of this foundation and the mattifying wear of it. Uh, I think I would repurchase it, but not right now. <laughs> so I do like it. I do want to use it. I did purchase this, and I love this foundation. This is another uh, Urban Decay, but this is the Naked Skin Foundation, and this is in the shade 5.0. This was a shade gifted to me in gratis, and uh, why did I get 5.0? Because sometimes you don't, well, you never have a choice, really. You, you Well, you, ver you very rarely have a choice of what tones you get, and sometimes you get tones that aren't your shade. So I use this um, when I do makeup on other people sometimes, and I have used it as a mixer. This foundation is okay, but it's a little bit more of a medium, light medium coverage, and I like more of a full um, opaque coverage, as I've said a million times in this video. So uh, I'll use it up. It's about halfway used up right now. You can't tell because I was moving it all around, but yeah, almost done, guys. Hang in there. <laughs> so this is the Fenty Beauty um, foundation and this is in the shade 120 that is for sure not going to focus there we go 120 uh have i used this one let's see oh yeah i've used it um i don't really remember if i liked it too much or not i do think that the the shade is a little bit light for me but when i start getting into using it i will let you guys know
And lastly, guys, finally, lastly, this is the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation. And it is in the shade Fair. So I don't, here we go, fair. Um, I have not used this one yet. It was something that I got right as I was leaving um, Sephora. So I haven't used it because I'm trying to use up older items, obviously. But when I get into it, I'll let you guys know. If you've ever used any of these foundations and have recommendations, tips, tricks, love them, hate them, let me know. Uh, let's go ahead and count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 27 foundations that is absolutely ridiculous and absolutely unnecessary okay guys so this is what we did so far we did face primers color correctors foundations and concealers so we have 28 27 and 14 that is a lot of product and we have a lot more to go so i'm gonna just go ahead and wrap up that video at this point and my god this is an eye opener for real so i hope you guys enjoyed watching if you have any questions comments let me know and i will talk to y'all in the next one bye